as Joseph said? Uh, we are faced together with uh, what is uh, President Putin's war of choice, unprovoked, uh, unjustified, and a war that is having horrific, horrific consequences for real people, for mothers, for fathers, for children. We see the images on, on TV, uh, and it has to stop. We're committed to doing everything we can to, uh, uh, to make it stop. So the coordination between us is vital. But, of course, it's, it's, it's beyond the United States and Europe. This is uh, an aggression, uh, a challenge, a threat that is relevant to the entire world. Because what's at risk, first and foremost, are literally the lives of Ukrainian men, women, and children. But beyond that, the very fundamental principles that we've established together after two world wars that are so important to keeping peace and security for everyone, principles that President Putin is egregiously violating every single day, the notion that one country can't simply go in and change the borders of another by force or take it over, uh, the principle that uh, one country can't dictate to another the choices that its citizens would make about their future, uh, the principle that uh, we're past the, the time of spheres of influence where one country subjugates its neighbors to its will. All of those things are at stake. And if we allow those principles to be challenged, as Putin is doing now, with impunity, that will open a Pandora's box of trouble uh, for not just us, but quite frankly for the entire world. So